guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Dana and this is my dying dungeon. It may not look like a dungeon, but trust me, I torture myself in here enough that it's definitely a dungeon. I noticed there was quite a few of you new here, so welcome to the community. I appreciate your support. Sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the ride while we fix my hair color. I haven't seen my natural hair color in a long time, so it's weird to start seeing my roots like this. So we're gonna fix that, but first, if you're new, I always shape a design into the undercut of my head here. I think I'm gonna go for like a geomat. Geomat. I think I'm gonna go for like a geometric pattern today because not only do I have the triangle here, but my natural hairline is like triangular here at the bottom. Just see what I come up with. I'm gonna use like this eyebrow razor and it'll be easier to draw straight lines with that. I wanted to do more chevrons, but I don't have room for it. Kinda looks like crisscrosses, but I swear it's triangles. I did two upside down triangles and then one upright triangle. Hopefully it'll look better when there's color. The colors I picked for today are Oso Fuchsia. And then for my middle shade, I did Purple Blitz diluted with Pearl Glam. Just to make a lighter shade of purple. The Oso Fuchsia and the lighter purple will go on my undercut. If you see how my hair is sectioned right now, this section right here, this regular purple blitz there, which is a really, really dark purple. And on top here, I'm gonna do purple blitz on my roots, but I'm gonna put Oso Fuchsia on the ends, and I'm excited to see what Oso Fuchsia will look like over this blue. So let's go ahead and start painting my head. I'm gonna start with the lightest color, which is the Oso Fuchsia, and work my way to the darker one. Nothing's ever going to be perfect if it comes out of my hands, but I will take it. I think it looks pretty good. So let's move on to the top. So where the blue is, that's where the fuchsia's going, and where my natural roots are, that's where the purple blitz is going. The reason I'm doing the purple blitz on my natural roots is because they're not damaged, so the color won't stay in as long, so it won't be as hard to remove that darker color from my roots. And I'm not worried about accidentally touching back here with the fuchsia, because that dark purple is gonna go on everything back there so it'll cover up fuchsia this is how you know I haven't dyed my hair in a while my arms are already starting to hurt I used to dye my hair every week but I've been trying to give my hair a break wipe off my gloves I'm gonna switch to purple blitz and I'm gonna have to open the door to see back here If I miss a single spot, you're gonna see it. I'm gonna make sure it's fully saturated. And we're just gonna do this until we get to the front. I was just repeating the top part over and over again. I figured you guys would get bored, so I just skipped through that. If that's something you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. For this whole underneath part, I'm gonna do purple. And again, pretty basic. It's just gonna be all purple, so I'm gonna show you guys this clip that I thought was hilarious and super relatable while I do the purple underneath. three quarters of an ounce left out of four ounce tube and here's what it looks like so I'm gonna let it process for 20 minutes and rinse it out with cold water even though in my previous experiment where I tested how they faded with hot water it didn't bleed or rinse out differently than the cold water so really I could rinse it out with warm water but just to be safe, I'm gonna do cold water. It's not dry yet, but I just wanted to show you what I looked like before I cleaned up. Um, yeah, that's how the water rinsed out on my face. This looks so awesome. It matches perfectly with my skin tone. I have a really pale skin tone. I feel like cool tones in my hair just bring out the blue in my eyes as well. So I love this look. And the fuchsia turned out more like a purple. Here's what the fuchsia would have looked like on just regular blonde hair. You see how bright that is? But because I had the blue still in my hair, 
it looks like this. Also, I can't believe I've never thought about doing a dark on the under layer, but I absolutely, I'm gonna keep saying that, I absolutely love the way this looks between the light and the dark. As I started in my previous video, I want you guys to start naming these hair colors down below in the comments, and the most unique and interesting name I'll pin at the top. That way we can interact a little bit more and talk and chat and yeah, all that good stuff. And the design that I shaved underneath also looks amazing. I could have made the lines a little bit smaller. Next time I try to shave in like a design with straight lines, I'll try and use the clippers first because I think I'm getting a little bit more comfortable holding them now. Honestly, this is probably going to be one of my favorite colors that I've had on myself. I'll show you what this looks like in the sunlight, that way you can get a picture of how awesome it actually looks and how vibrant these colors are, even on darker hair. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next week, remember to keep your heads up and have a great day.